Sammy Douglas. I'm the member of the Assembly for East Belfast. Tim Edgar, I um, work for the Cyclist Touring Club, the CTC. Uh, we're the national cycling charity. Uh, I suppose we're in partnership with Belfast City Council to try and encourage more people to cycle in and around the city. Uh, provided some bike clubs for young people. I suppose from last um, last Christmas um, I had um, serious blood pressure problems and I decided to try and get my blood pressure down. Started cycling again, had used to cycle a number of years ago and went to the doctor and my blood pressure nearly down to normal. So I would be cycling maybe four or five days a week, sometimes maybe half five, six in the morning and I love, I just love Belfast, I just love cycling around, especially when there aren't too many cars about. And today's events to celebrate Bike to Work Day. Um, so we have various people coming in, getting their bikes tagged by the PSNI to make them a bit uh, traceable if they're stolen. Uh, with some guy doing maintenance checks and then we're offering a free breakfast and we'll have our, our bonkers spiral cycle circuit here, which you've maybe seen already. The bike tagging's one element, you know, people increasing theft in the city, was the police have come up with a nice system linked to a national database to, so that people can be a bit more sure that their bike does get stolen and they haven't locked it up properly, at least it's a bit more traceable. Um, I suppose this event itself, you know, it's about cyclists at certain workplaces bringing non-cyclists to work and leading them on rides to the city into the city centre. So it gives people who aren't used to cycling on the roads and during traffic to have a chance to get that bit of support uh, on bike to work day. Yes, I was in this morning because um, I, I came down by the Cassay Road and Elbert Bridge Road. Um, it's actually very dangerous um, cycling on the, on the road. And certainly one of the things I've realised is that as a, a driver myself, um, we, have, we have no time for cyclists, um, we can get so frustrated and yet it's a bit of, bit, bit of both, you know, cyclists should be also aware of motorists wanting to get to, to work or buses wanting to get past and, and I would try and compromise and accommodate um, drivers, um, particularly buses, um, so I would maybe just nip up the, um, up the, the footpath for a wee bit and then back on again. But yes, it, it, is, it can be quite dangerous. Having said that, we have the, the Cumber Greenway and I'm involved with the, the Conswater Community Greenway Way. and we'll have something like maybe nine to ten kilometers of cycle track which is absolutely brilliant for East Belfast but Belfast in particular. We have a very dominant car culture in Northern Ireland as with a lot of cities across the UK and Ireland um, so really really I think it's just about trying it and we firmly believe in that giving people an experience of cycling particularly cycling to work um, we think that self-soothes and get, gets it in people's minds um, one thing is road safety. People do say to me, are you mad cycling on the roads? And it's really something, once you try it, give it a go. We deliver a bit of cycle training, on-road cycle training, called the National Standard for Cycle Training. And it's a really good model of uh, teaching, to teach you how to position yourself effectively, how to signal and look effectively, uh, and understand how the highway code works, works for you as a cyclist. Um, so it's really just about getting in there and giving it a go. And it dispels a lot of the myths about road safety. Um, and you eventually get used to it, you know. So I think it's just about getting in, getting stuck in, really. Now, it was good to see the, the Titanic Quarter. There's a new cycle lane there. And I would cycle on that um, on a fairly regular basis. Um, we don't have enough cycle lanes. And, and some of them could be improved. But we're getting there. And certainly what I've seen over this, certainly this past year, Maybe I'm wrong, but I think more and more people are starting to get on their bicycles um, because of the congestion. One of the things that I'm most conscious of is, uh, well, congestion's one thing. Um, people getting more physical activity throughout the working day. It's very hard to fit in a gym visit or your run or cycle after work, and even more in the morning. So integrating it with your daily travel gets your physical activity levels up. And I haven't met one person yet who doesn't want to get fitter, lose a bit of weight, and feel a bit fresher because they've done a bit of exercise, you know, on a daily basis. Um, we're about to start a program of work with employers across Belfast, uh, and it involves a workplace challenge, cycle challenge. So again, it's about uh, a novel competition with prizes, and we're going to be offering some free cycle training attached to that. Um, if the, if people wanted to find out or book on the individual cycle training sessions, they could contact you know me at Belfast City Council. Uh, my address is edgartea at belfastcitycouncil.gov.uk um, 
So, uh, and I would be sure to help you link up with a training provider to access that. There's a new old party group on segment just been, been established by a colleague of mine from the Lands Party and at East Belfast, Chris Little. And and this week we had a a, a basic race right round Stormont. There were eight eight assembly members, and I'm delighted. At my age, I came third, so I was absolutely delighted. But yes, um, we're meeting on a monthly basis to look at the issues and to come up with some sort of strategy. Working very closely with Sustrans, I must say, Sustrans have been more than helpful, been very very encouraging, and raising issues that I would never think of, but also raising those issues at Stormont and at the highest level as well. But cycling's great because you can use it as a means of transport. It's not just people dressed up in lycra at the weekends. You can jump on the year into your suit if that's what you want uh, or you can wear a lycra or board shorts like a surfer on a bike you know um, it's, it's the, one of the best sort of phys- sports or recreational pastimes that you can use as a mode of travel but also it's, a, it's great just to get away and out of a car and I would see places that I would never see on, on a bicycle and I would go out on a regular basis with the first minister and we would maybe cycle for two or three hours. I was out last Saturday with him and did about 25 mi- miles. And it's good just to go out and have a chat, not just about politics, but about our families, about our health, about our uh, cycling as well. I cycle to work every day, apart from today. I brought a van in today because I had to set up today, you know, the course and all today. So, um, yeah, I, I, I cycle by bike. Unless I've got a bad cold or I'm feeling really poorly, I'll get the bus m- m- most likely. But I've, I've, sold, I've sold my car now. I don't, use my car anymore. I have to steal the wife's car. <laughs> <laughs>